Hey everybody, Jay Super Awesome here. I'd like to welcome you all back to my channel. In this video, I will be giving my review for Boar. The first thing that I wanted to say before I got into anything about the movie at all is that I actually won this movie from Screen Screams 100 Subscribers Giveaway Contest. If you guys are not familiar with Craig's channel, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. He is a really awesome dude, and I can even say a super awesome dude. Now, he shipped this to me all the way from Australia, and I know that that could not have been cheap. I just feel so grateful and so thankful that he did that. I just wanted to give a few moments to give him a shout out and to express some appreciation to him. He shipped this out and it came super quick considering the distance it had to travel. I just think that it was a amazing act of kindness and I thought it was really cool. Okay, so getting into the plot for this one. In the harsh yet beautiful Australian outback lives a beast, a animal of staggering size with a ruthless driving need for blood and destruction. It cares for none, defends its territory with brutal force, and kills with a raw, animalistic savagery unlike any have seen before. Believed nothing more than a myth, a legend brought to life by a drunken local, the beast ventures closer to civilization, closer to life, and ultimately closer to death. It's brutal, it's bloodthirsty, it's bore. Okay, so getting into my thoughts for this one. I had an absolute blast watching this movie. It is a very fun and entertaining creature feature. This movie has an absolutely fantastic cast of characters. I actually really like them all, even the throwaway characters I found to be entertaining. Some of the standouts for me are John Jarrett, and most of you horror fans will recognize him from the Wolf Creek series. He's a really standout character in this movie for me. Also, Bill Mosley, a lot of horror fans will recognize him. He has a sort of a different type of role in this one than what we're used to seeing him in. But I think he does a really good job. Also, another standout character for me is Nathan Jones. He is just a massive man. And he was also in Charlie's Farm, which was another movie that Chris Sun, the director of this movie, directed. And I absolutely loved him in that movie. And as you can tell right here, this is a signed copy by Chris Sun. He has signed the outside cover, and he has also signed the inside disc art as well. So getting back to Nathan Jones for just a minute. He had a very fun and likable character in this movie. They did poke a little bit of fun at his size and strength, and I know that that was done all in good fun. I don't think anybody in their right mind would ever say anything deliberately insulting to this man because that would be an absolute insane thing to do. He is quickly becoming one of my favorite big men in horror. He delivered a really good performance in this movie. Now, with that being said, I do have to mention a couple of scenes that he is involved in that I am not a big fan of. We get this really wide shot of this beautiful scenery, and this movie has fantastic set pieces and some amazing atmosphere for this type of movie. But as soon as we get this wide shot of this beautiful scenery, we start hearing this song play, Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. And then we're inside the cab of the vehicle with Nathan Jones where he begins to sing this song. Now, not that he's not doing a good job with the, his performance. It's just that I thought the entire scene with the music, at least, felt really out of place for this movie. The other scene that I wanted to mention is that he is face to face with this massive boar. And he begins to punch it in the face. Now, I guess he had no other weapons at the time, and you just go with what you got. And I do know that I would not want to be on the receiving end of one of those punches, but he is punching this boar in the face, and all it's doing is making it more angry. This movie is so much fun, 
It has amazing atmosphere. It has fantastic characters. And it has really awesome practical effects. And I cannot express that enough. This boar looks amazing. And I especially like the way he looks in the nighttime scenes. He definitely is a massive, imposing figure. And he is just on a rampage through these characters. And it was really fun to watch. Unfortunately, this movie also uses some CGI effects. And I didn't really feel like they looked that good. This movie was at its best when they stuck with the practical effects. With that being said, I didn't really feel like it hurt the movie that much. This is a very fun and entertaining creature feature. And the way it ended, there is definitely a possibility for a sequel. And I would totally be up for that. I would like to take the time once again to thank Craig for sending this to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I had an absolute blast watching this movie. I'm going to leave a link to Craig's channel screen screen in the description box below. Be sure to go over and check his channel out. I'm going to give this movie a 8 out of 10. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know what you guys think about Boar if you have seen it. Or let me know what you think about my review. And I would like to thank you all for watching.